Hey, you guys, so I'm back again with another message from the Lord. And I need to record this message because it's still dwelling in my spirit. Um, and God is saying to get your confidence back or don't lose your confidence, whoever this is for. Um, some people are getting into the place where they have lost confidence, where they are lose, where they have lost confidence um, in certain things coming to pass or um, you are starting to lose confidence in certain things that God has said is going to come to pass due to all of the warfare um, that is going on. It's like, even though you are accomplishing a lot of things in life, you're still experiencing a lot of warfare. You're still being ostracized. You're still being talked against. You're still, it's just like, whatever you do, things, people, places, things, it's still trying to tear you down. And that is a tactic from the enemy to make you lose confidence, to make you lose hope and faith in things. Thank you, Holy Spirit, um, to where it, allows you to put your guard down for the enemy to creep his way back in. And God is saying to get your confidence back and put your confidence back in him. He is going to deliver just as he has promised. And y'all, the reason why I'm saying this is because I saw, you know, I've been seeing and experiencing and seeing in dreams and stuff where people confidence are being, are trying to, or the devil is trying to strip away people's confidence, trying to make them feel like things are not coming to pass or gaslighting, um, backbiting, belittling things to ruin people's confidence. And like, like I said, the different warfare attacks and attempts, just trying to come up against um, people's confidence so they can lose faith and lose hope in God. And whenever you get to that place where you're starting to feel down and out, that's when the devil will try to send in counterfeits and send in different spirits and stuff to attack you. So you can go back into demonic covenants and stuff with him where, where God has delivered you from. That's why now you might be noticing why a lot of people, places and things are trying to come back. Especially when you feel like you're going through a lot of warfare. Especially when you feel like your anxiety is on high. Especially when you're feeling like you're being depleted. And that's why God is calling a lot of his children to rest. Not just to simply rest for their bodies, but to rest in him. Because he knows that the warfare can eventually start to take a toll on someone. But you have to stay praying. You have to stay fasting. You have to stay reading your word. And you have to eliminate distractions. Um, you might have to get to a place where... You don't need to be really be talking to people. Just talk to God, you know, and whoever he leads you to talk to in this season, in this hour. But God is saying, do not lose your confidence. Do not lose your faith in him um, to get your confidence back because he's going to deliver just as he promised. Um, if old people, places and things are trying to come back into your life during this time, God is saying, do not entertain it. Actually to block. Y'all, I literally had to block someone um the other day um because of the fact that I haven't talked to this person <laughs> in years I had made it very clear that I wanted to move on with my life no hard feelings but now all of a sudden you know you and your family want to pop back up again why God clearly told me to block that person because it was a trick of the enemy. Because even if even when I didn't answer the phone call, thank you, Holy Spirit, and I saw the person call me, I felt the spirit that used to plague me through these people that used to call me. I felt the spirit trying to come back. I felt the spirit trying to attack my self-worth. I felt the spirit trying to attack my self-esteem, even when I didn't answer the phone. Y'all, sometimes, sometimes, we don't even have to talk to a person. Sometimes a person can just call us and that spirit is attached to the other side of that phone and it's waiting for you to answer. And if you're very, very discerning in the spirit, if you can feel in the spirit, if you're sensitive in the spirit, you can even feel it without even answering the phone. Yeah, I just let the phone ring. But then when I, I got, whenever God revealed to me what was going on and how these things were attacking, attacking my confidence, I was like, you need to block. Don't even entertain. Don't call back because this is a trick of the enemy. When something tries to come, when they, what the enemy is trying to do is he's trying to use different ticks, tricks and tactics to make your confidence level go down 
So you will settle for anything. So you will compromise the things for the things. Um, compromise when it comes to certain things that God, you know, instead of waiting on the promise of God. And y'all, we you are too close to compromise. <laughs> Actually, the devil is doing this because you are on a verge of a breakthrough, even when it don't look like it. And for a lot of God's children, it don't look like it. God, I'm trusting you. I'm believing you. But what you're saying, it don't look like it yet. Like, so I'm still trusting you. And it can be hard, y'all, because we have to learn to walk by faith and not by sight. And it could be hard trying to trust something that you don't know that you can't see. <laughs> and Especially when you're going through like a lot of warfare all at one time for all different areas, y'all. It's an attack on your confidence. And God is saying to get your confidence back. Put your trust back in him. All right. Don't settle. It's a trick of the enemy for you to come for you to um, settle for something that you don't need to settle for. And God is saying to give it all to him. He's the doctor. He can do it. Like you just need to go to him and you just need to have faith and confidence in him that he is going to see you through in this season, in this hour. God took me to scripture. Um, actually, the past couple of days, God has been wanting me to read Psalms 91. And I had to read Psalms 91 last night before I went to bed. Um, I've been reading it for the past couple of nights on top of other scriptures. And um, he took me to Psalms 91. The second scripture. And I'm going to read it, y'all. Bear with me. And it says, This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I trust him. I know in the King James Version is whom I think is in whom I will put my trust. In him, I will trust. Okay. So the NIV version, thank you, Holy Spirit says, I, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge in my fortress, my God in whom I trust. All right. So God is saying to put your trust back in him. Keep your confidence level, put your trust back in him. Don't worry about um, what is going on around you. You need to just worry about what he is telling you in this season, in this hour. Put your confidence back in him. Um, he also took me to another scripture, Hebrews chapter 10, verses 35 and 36. So do not throw away this confident trust in the Lord. Remember the great reward it brings you. Patient endures is what you need now so that you will continue to do God's will. Then you will receive all that he has promised. All right. The NIV version reads. So do not throw away your confidence. It will be richly rewarded. You need, to, you need to persevere so you so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what he has promised. Yeah, I told y'all before, we are walking into the season of what God has promised us, right? God is going to deliver just as promised. This is just the tact, the tact this other enemy to get you off guard, to get you off focus of what God is telling you. And God is saying for you to get your confidence back if you have lost it or don't lose confidence in him because he's going to deliver just as he's promised. And I'm going to read it again in IV version, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 35 and 36. So do not throw away your confidence. It will be richly rewarded. You need to persevere so that when you have done the will of god you will receive what he has promised remember that y'all i love you guys go look up scriptures about confidence because god is saying don't lose your confidence get your confidence back because this right now what's going on is definitely the trick of the enemy so i love you all i pray that you guys have an amazing day and i will chat with you all later